I'm Tima from Cypress Paradise. Today I'm going to be talking to Kim Chet and I, our celebrity guest who's flown on holiday with Cypress Paradise all the way from Love Island to the real island of love, North Cyprus. Taking the lads around the cockpit for a little explore. We're the captains. Captains, thanks for getting us here nice and sound. Just landing in Cyprus, a couple of presents, a bit of Turkish delight. Well, it's been amazing to have this chance to speak to you. Thank, Thank you so you. much it's for your right. time. Thank you for having me. I hope you're having a lovely, relaxing holiday. Of course. You can let go of um, all the things that are in your head at the moment and just relax in North Cyprus Thank where you, you belong much. and where you come from. Can you just um, basically tell me about um, what brings you to North Cyprus every year? Because you were born in England and um, you've lived there all your life. Both my parents were born in, in North Cyprus, so we pretty much come every year because my my nan still lives here and it's just kind of our home. And um, what are your special places in North Cyprus? Where do you like going the most when you come here? I think because I'm so used to staying at my nan's house, it's just my special place because I don't get to see her a lot. So when we come, that's where we look forward to going. It's kind of, it's our happy place because that, that's where we want to go. We want to see her. So yeah. it feels nice to come. But of course, there's loads of amazing places here that we always, we always go to. That's why it's so special. You know, it's our culture. It's where I'm from. So it's something that means a lot to me and my family. If someone hasn't been here before, what would you say is so special about this country? Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of people wouldn't know about North Cyprus. You know, it's not something that's as commercialised as other places, and people wouldn't recognise it. But not just because I'm from here, I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Like I come here and I genuinely believe that. Like it's the places, the views, the seas, everything about it. When I come here, I want, I try and show to everyone how lucky and like grateful I am to be where I'm from and how much I appreciate the support. But I'm trying to do more in England to come here for people to notice more about North Cyprus and hopefully we can do more. And, and I thank Cyprus Paradise and Lord's Palace for, for making it making it happen. And hopefully we can do more stuff together now. And uh, it's very exciting, yeah. And uh, what would you say, what would be your message to uh, the young North Cypriots out here who are talented? Well, I always knew I wanted to do something special and I always knew I didn't want to sit back and be like the rest. And I think just to push and believe in what you can do because I never thought I'd be where I am a year ago and then a year on from what after happened I've excelled and I've kept pushing. And it's because I don't want to be the same as everyone else and I want to push and you can do it. And, you know, and I knew I had in my head what I wanted to do. And I think um, if you want it enough, you, you'll always be able to achieve it. So I think it's absolutely amazing that you're so young and you've done so many things at such a young age. I think Thank it's you. really amazing. What was your what was your major obstacle uh, that you that you might have that you found in, during your career uh, since you came out of the Love Island Villa? Um, I think obviously when I come out of Love Island, it excelled a lot more every week, every month. It was just getting bigger and harder and more. It was just, there was a lot more going on and I think the impact it took on my family because they're not used to this and being in the spotlight and fame and stuff like that and everything you do has an impact on them, especially like Turkish Cypriot families, I'm sure you know, my mum and dad are quite traditional so they're not used to this happening so I'm sure you know yourself, like we don't get raised to kind of act a certain way or be fake, it's just we've always been told to be honest and be ourselves and sometimes you put yourself in a very vulnerable position that way but that you're only being honest and people can only judge you for who you are and I think that's the hardest thing is that my friends and my family know who I am and they know that I've always been myself along the way so regardless of what happens and what opinions they know that, that that's Kem and I've been Kem from the beginning. That just goes to show the Cypriot culture, warm and friendly people and very genuine people and that's where we come from in North Cyprus, that's, that's the culture here and uh, Kem is a great example of that. To the country. Any message to, to North Cyprus to the people here in North Cyprus? Yeah, I just um, I just think like I'm, I'm very grateful the way they they treat me when I come. You know, it's not I always want people to know that even though I don't necessarily live in Cyprus, I don't come here a lot. It's something that means a lot to me. I'm very proud of, and when I come here, I want to kind of get that message across because I might not be here a lot, but it's something that I think has put me where I am, the way I've been raised, and the way my family are. Something that we believe very strongly in at home. What would you say is um, the most precious memory that you've had so far on this holiday or the m most funniest thing that's happened to you on holiday so far? 
I think it's been a, it's been quite a funny holiday all in because I've been with my brother and my cousin, so it's always going to be. But I think it's been quite a special holiday because we surprised my my nan when we come and uh, bless her, we turned up and she wasn't in the best mood because her fridge broke. So uh, me and my brother, we went out and, and bought her a brand new fridge and she was over the moon and just to see the, the smile on her face, you know. Um. Her two grandsons come over from England, they don't come a lot, so uh, just to see her over a new giant fridge that's probably ten times too big for her kitchen, but um. that's the one she wanted. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's all good and, and I'm really happy to be here and uh, very, very lucky. Oh, thanks for coming, it's My a beautiful pleasure. memory. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much to Cypress Paradise and Lord's Palace Hotel for making it happen at short notice. They have been amazing. Oh. <laughs>